Oh, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Unprecedented run of form lately. Yeah, two win streak. Unprecedented. Hey, now. Don't be mean about it. Uh, we need an Eve lamb kill, and a Maggie lamb kill, and a blue baby lamb kill. I think we're due for an Eve run, are we not? Or did we just do one recently? I can't remember. But anyway, we're going to do an Eve run, whether we're due for one or not. You know what I mean? Curse of the Blind. We won't know what our items are. That could be worse. PF. B. G. Peanut fucking butter gamer. M. R. 2. W. Must. Read. To write. That doesn't make any sense, but I wish him the best of luck in his career. Um. I actually, they, I'll admit, I know, I know peanut butter gamer is huge on YouTube. I've heard the name. I don't think I've any seen, or I've ever seen any of the videos, but uh. That's okay. I, I genuinely, it sounds like I had a bone to pick or something with him, but I don't. I like his name. I'm a big fan of peanut butter myself. People always ask me, well, let, let's rephrase this. Everywhere I go, that's really lucky. Everywhere I go, people always ask me. And then we'll skip to the punchline. You know, crunchy or creamy peanut butter? Doesn't matter to me. I can get down with a little crunch. I can get down with a little cream. Doesn't matter. And then people say, hey, natural peanut butter or preservative laden peanut butter like Jif. And I say, hey, you know, ooh, sacrificial dagger is acceptable. Uh, and then I say, you know what? I'm easy. It don't matter. You want to give me some of that, uh, some of that preservative-laden peanut butter? I will gladly spread that on top of a Ritz cracker. You want to give me some of that natural peanut butter? I'll feel good about myself as I kind of munch down on it. Hey, rusted key, and uh, straight up eternal heart. I mean, I don't know if this was really worth it. We were gonna get the HP upgrade nonetheless, but I guess we can just go in and get it now. And I mean, I'm very happy to have gotten the eternal heart on this floor in general, and rusted key will hopefully allow us to do a little better in the future with more keys, but that's okay. I will say, I'm not very much of a jam, jelly, marmalade kind of guy. It doesn't really tickle my fancy the same way, uh, the same way your nut butters do. I know what I said. I don't really care if I take damage here. Uh, I will care if I take damage to the point where I'm in a very deleterious spot, but for now, not really a big problem. Uh, we don't know what this is, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna take it either way. It's a range upgrade. You know, that's not amazing, but we were going to take it anyway. We didn't really have too much of a choice. Let's move along. All right, so this floor is big, and we're not in, uh, we're, oh, snap. We're not in the most fantastic position to deal with this floor either without having any, um, any keys. Rusted key, assuming it actually effing works now, unlike vanilla, uh, should put us in a pretty decent place to get a key. I guess I should shoot all of the fires and stuff like that to see if we can make it happen, but, uh, you know, it's the standard second floor. We're looking for a good item room, keys so we can access the, the item room in the shop, and then a deal with the devil, and my deal with the devil dreams have just gone up in explosions a little bit there. But we can still just beat the boss without taking damage, and that'll leave us in a pretty good spot. There's a tinted rock there, that makes it a little easier, maybe. Yeah, two spirit hearts. If only we'd been able to get to this room without taking damage. Knowing myself, I probably would have, uh not notice that there was a tinted rock in there. I probably skipped some tinted rocks that would have saved me even more trouble before in the past. All right, just be cool. The good thing about this is a, a deal with the devil is Eve actually gives you proportionally more benefit early, I think, than a deal with the devil with almost any other character in the game. What's my reasoning for that? Because it sounds like utter horseshit. Well, if we can take a deal with the devil that also gives us Whore of Babylon, we're sitting pretty. Or, not sitting pretty necessarily, but we'll be doing a lot of damage. So, the way that we win this is Dead Bird oh, does a fuck ton of damage. Oh my god. We're gonna take Red Heart damage. This is just par for the course. You know, the Haunt is a he's a cruel mister. And I, uh, I don't love our chances of getting through this without taking damage. You just want to try to minimize the amount of time that you're actually in front of his face. I get, oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to do that, man! Alright, whatever. We, we got hit a lot. We got an eternal heart, we got a damage upgrade. So we're gonna be in a pretty good spot for the next floor, but... You know, it is fair to say that I threw a little bit, maybe. Let's see if we can get something out of these, uh, fires. I don't know why I turned back to shoot at that one that was already gone. Okay, that's a good start, you know, getting a nickel out of the fire. Nobody gonna complain about that one. Two bombs would be great. Two bombs would allow... Oh, there's another tinted rock in there. So I am an idiot. But, uh, yeah, two bombs would probably allow us to access that uh, curse room without actually losing HP. Although, to be honest with you, we might as well just do that anyway. And, and like, accept the HP loss, basically. Oh. 
They, well, maybe we won't be able to do it. We'll see. This floor has not gone very well for me thus far. Bumfriend is not a very good choice for us here. And between Bumfriend and Sacrificial Dagger, you'll forgive me, but I'm not really feeling like we're um, very well set up for the future. Lust could be a big play. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's risky. We're in a risky spot. We can't take damage now, or we won't actually be able to go to our curse room. Are you a wizard? That is super exactly what I needed. How did you know, game? So, the worst thing for me would be if I go into this curse room and it's the blue... Well, thank you for having Horror Babylon active. It's the blue, uh, fires. Thankfully, it's not. Wow. Alright. Somebody up there likes me, as you can see. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave this floor, and we're not gonna be in a fantastic position. But we are gonna have no, we're not because we're gonna have the uh, Eternal Heart here. We're not gonna have Horror Babylon active, but as a trade off for that, we are gonna have like four HP, which is pretty good as Eve. No keys, no bombs, and an active Are You a Wizard pill. Pretty excited about that. This uh, is not a good room for Are You a Wizard. There we go. All right, we've worked ourselves out of it. If nothing else, we got Blood Clot. Blood Clot is a semi-decent item, at best. That key is very useful. Uh, and we really, like, this is this is kind of the breaking point for this run, even though it's super early. We can always get carried late, if we get lucky. But this is kind of the last floor where, at our current, like, level of attributes and stats, we're gonna have a good chance to pull ourselves out of the doldrums, like, by our own bootstraps, basically. We need to do well here in order to get a deal with the devil. Or Angel. I would not be um, perturbed by either of them. Obviously, our best chance of making this happen is uh, not taking damage at all. But we'll still not abandon hope. Ever. But we'll not abandon hope kind of formally here. Until we... Uh, <laughs> Jesus, it's taking forever. Until we uh, take damage against the boss. Red Heart damage, specifically. Good. Okay, that was a stressful room for basically no personal gain. The best kind. I want nothing to do with this unless there is like a dime back there. As has been said many times, I need a dime that's top of the line, cute waist, nice face with a big behind. I can't really remember the priority order for them. Alright. Now. That was almost the worst damage of all time. I kind of got wedged in the corner there. I was trying to dodge, but it looked like I froze. This item room is extremely important to me and your mother. If we could just get some kind of tier effect, damage, all stats, obviously that was lucky. Notched fucking axe? That's not very good. I mean, it's better than it used to be, but that's like saying, you know, well, if you get the bubonic plague now, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I'm gonna do my best to avoid getting the bubonic plague, though. It's like nobody's gonna say, I want the bubonic plague for Christmas, you know? Oh, if you could just pop up a second earlier, life would have been a lot easier there. No, don't worry, I'll wait. As you can see, we're doing a uh, stellar amount of damage to these enemies. It's going really well right now. Uh, what do we do with these two keys then? I, I don't know, fuck it, maybe we do open up that, uh, that golden chest back there that's gonna cost us two keys. Notched Axe isn't gonna do shit for us unless I get very lucky and find a room where there's like a, a tinted rock, I guess, or just like get even luckier than that and find a room where there's a black market. That might not even be luckier, but it's all good for now. Kill one enemy, please. One just walked into the fire. That makes life easy. Oh my god. Sacrificial Dagger did just block a bullet. Well, we confirmed that then. Sacrificial Dagger will block bullets. Okay, that's another Are You a Wizard pill. Amazing. Inside of our shop, no half price items. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Take me away. Gertie, okay, so this is, you know, good but bad. Why good? Gertie's easy. Very easy boss. Why bad? So much HP. How do we how do we bridge the gap between the damage I do and the, the HP Gertie has? Sacrificial Dagger is is pretty much my go-to in that case. See, that's why we're like actually doing fairly well here. It's because when Sacrificial Dagger comes around on the rotation, we can actually do a lot of damage to Gertie in a short period of time. So it's imperative that we keep those nubs taken care of. 
Sounds like something your doctor would tell you about, uh, like, foot fungus or something like that. I don't know. Kind of gross. We're so close, though. We did it! Okay, that's big. Now, just don't fucking get hit by this asshole. I almost want to use Are You a Wizard and stand up here. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It should be dead. Okay. Blue cap is okay. HP plus tears with a shot speed downgrade. We will take both of these. We're gonna like quintuple down on this shit. All right, so this doesn't make us particularly strong, but at the same time, uh, just kind of picking up those items gives us the precedent. We can fly now, and we can start to work our way out of this. It's not an exaggeration necessarily to say that that might end up being exceptionally significant. All right, so that's a free penny. That's okay. I didn't even look at the items that we had in our shop, because I was just like, oh, we're not going to ever need those. Okay. We're starting to get some momentum here. This is feeling good. Yeah, that, that boss fight may very well end up as the pivotal moment on this run. Now, it's a shame we uh, actually couldn't get, like, maybe a pentagram instead of uh, the blue mushroom, because if we got that, we would actually be in Horror Babylon State with a decent amount of HP to protect us, so our damage would be sorted out a lot better. And, Despite having less health, we'd need less health because we'd be doing more damage. But it is what it is, and we're in a, a pretty good spot here. Isaac's Fork. I mean, Rusted Key, assuming it works, is better, I guess. We're not intending to use our Red Hearts too often here. Bit of a weird position, though, but certainly, like, I, I'm better off now than I was. We could find this secret room. I believe Notched Axe actually does allow you to try to find the secret room. We're trying to find, like, a black market here. Guess, it, uh, I'm gonna guess that the secret rooms are not there. Let's try that out for size. Like, what if we put a bomb here? Is the secret room here? No. Well, let's not look for our secret room. Let's not test, uh, fate too much or tempt fate too much. Just head down to the next floor. Feel pretty good about where we came to, uh, at the end of that. At least I feel like I've, I've felt pretty good at the end of that. Um, we have this. This is exactly what we want. So we'll gamble a little bit. We'll, we'll gamble as much as we can. And this should give us enough money for the arcade in time. Also, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, Tomo, it's okay, buddy. Don't worry about it. Um, I don't want to kill that spider yet, but I did. <laughs> I wanted to leave it there so I could, you know, open up the other thing guilt-free. Let's try this. 48-hour energy. Well, that's great. So we could, if we find some... Tinted rocks or something to use uh, notched axe on. We can use the shit out of it. Tomo, I'll get the door for you in a minute, buddy. It's okay. Never fear. Daddy's still here. Goes outside to poop, then he wants to come back in. Alright, we got like one more enemy, Tomo. It's the haunt. This is where we're going to be taking our revenge. For the bullshit the haunt inflicted on us. But I, it's hard to be sad about it right now, because we're doing a lot better. So, throw the bomb down. This is what we were missing on the last run. We also found the secret room, which was unexpected. I did end up taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. This went pretty well. Oh, I can't go in there? What are you talking about? One second. <laughs> Tomo, is that you, buddy? Come on in, dog. No problem, buddy. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't access it. I wonder if I can use Notch Axe. You totally can. That's weird. Bombs are key. Uh, no thank you, sir. Wow, that is just shit luck right there. But at least we know where it is. Alright, let's move along here. With Horror of Babylon active, I expect to be, uh, you know, a lot more potent at dealing with enemies. Like, all enemies. And if possible, I would love to keep Horror of Babylon active for the rest of the game. It's a bit of a tall ask. By the way, people are always like, use notched axe on the mushrooms. It's not necessarily a bad idea. But it's not necessarily oh, a good idea either. Um, because the mushrooms can explode and deal poison damage to you. So it's kind of a risk reward thing. I know the mushrooms can give you items as well, but with low ish HP as we have right here, I would rather not. X ray vision, I like it. I like it well enough at least. Trying to get a little bit of money here because Bum Friend has siphoned some off of me. This will allow us to access our secret rooms. I, I don't know if we can avoid using bombs anymore. Like, not, uh, not notched axe. X-ray goggles used to mean that you didn't have to use bombs. I don't know if that's still the case. 
Like any minute now, you can pop up. Save me a little bit of heartache, thank you. Okay. Well, yes, we, we can't leave like immediately. That's okay though, blow that shit up. Blow it sky fucking high. There we go, that did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Wow, I I don't know if I've ever been in danger of being hit by an explosive shot as long as I was right there. Second secret room, mysterious chocolate, mysterious candy, whatever. I, uh, I've never really figured out how to use that properly. This runs in a very weird position, but I don't think we're too much away from being on the road to victory. What are we gonna need to, to make this one this run work in the long time? Long term? I can't speak English properly. You gotta forgive me, it's been, you know, I just came off the three hour NLSS and prior to the NLSS, oh, so bad there. Um, prior to the NLSS, I was uh, recording Rebirth. This is like my fourth Rebirth run today, because I'm in the zone. Don't kill my vibe. Um, we're gonna stay away from that. Starting to run out of those uh, those hearts that we were lucky enough to gain on the last floor. So, uh, you know, our, our HP reserves are not going to last forever. It's certainly a much better position to find ourselves in than we used to be in. Okay, not for you, bum friend. This one's for me. Kind of amazed by the fact that we seem unable to find our boss room. Maybe it's a bigger floor than I expected. Now, with Sacrificial Dagger, you always run the risk. Do you want to get up close and personal? Yes, but you'll take damage in the process. I uh, made a well-reasoned guess there that I'll take the nickel and let bum friend have the, the penny. So we have the money necessary to get into the shop if we can just get into the shop. Sun card is pretty sweet. Double Widow. Not bad, not bad. Too bad I didn't uh, save that other bombs or key pill. Not that we would have been able to use it anyway. My thinking is, with the right timing... We could probably uh, use Sacrificial Dagger, but why risk it now? One of them's gonna die very soon. There you go. Please give me a deal with the devil here. I don't know if I've earned one, but I want one desperately. Okay, uh, Magic Scab. HP, I'm happy with it. No deal with the devil? No deal with the devil. Well, I guess we are done with this. Ah, uh, you know, no we're not. Because we can gamble a little bit more. And there's one more room left. So don't get too uh, don't get too down on yourself yet. You know you haven't lost completely. Nasty way to lose that spirit heart. That's okay. I was gonna say one of you should be dead now, but it's amazing how much less damage we do uh, when Horror Babylon stops factoring into the picture. It is actually like kind of troubling to learn that uh, we're we're barely held together right now. That's uh, are you a wizard? Yeah, we don't want that, in case you didn't know. So, we're going to gamble a little bit more, get down into Horde Babylon if possible. And, you know, we've gotten a couple luck upgrades, so... I would not be... You know what, bum friend, you take that, maybe you pay out with a key or something. Hey, Purple Heart, I don't know. Tears down. Not so excited about the tears down grade, I'll just tell you that at face value. There's no way I'm using the sun card on this floor, it's too valuable long term. But I'll gamble to get below 15 cents. Okay, bum friend for you. We can always blow up the donation machine if we have to. I want bum friend to pay out with the key. We can also do this. I don't really want that, but we can deal with it. Okay. Well, I'm uh, just about ready to blow these both up. I think we're gonna do it. Let's start with this one. No key, but curved horn. Well, very, very good. And uh, two bombs, all right. We'll leave then. I'm not missing any red hearts, I think, yeah. No keys, so we can't access our shop. Bit of a shitty position to find ourselves in, but honestly, I'm so happy that we got the curved horn that I don't really care. But really, on the next floor, I'm gonna be banking on deal with the devil, allowing us to have a pretty good chance at, uh, you know, trading HP for damage in permanent whore Babylon state. Status, I guess I should say. Um, but, uh, yeah. And I know I didn't use Notched Axe, but I, I love the idea of using Notched Axe on this floor. The skulls are some of the most valuable things you can explode. Sometimes they create turrets, but uh, oftentimes they give you tarot cards. And they're a bit lower risk. I'm not going to use it yet, though, because once, uh, once you use Notched Axe, you pretty much got to stick with it for the rest of the room. Okay. Okay. 
that's a pretty good track record if you ask me. Two of hearts. Not interested. Death card. We can use it. Judgment card. Very useful. Let's pop that down. Try to get him to pay out right away. Before I know better. <laughs> Before I know what our shop holds for us. Give us a moon card, which is not very good considering we have x-ray goggles. And an emperor card, which is pretty good, but we can't hold two and we're going to be sticking with the sun. So yes, I took, an, I, I took the HP up. And if we're going to take the HP up, we might as well double our HP. Um, but it's worth it for, for an HP upgrade, I think. So let's move along here. we got to remember we have a sun card. That was very terrible. Not pleased with myself, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, this would be awesome. If I'm going to go the HP route, then I would love to have more HP. Why am I getting close to this idiot? Because I'm the, actually the idiot. There's your spoiler. Uh, and I should not be getting close to him. So we're going to be taking the sun card with us beyond this. But uh, for now, we're still kind of scrimping and saving. But I still genuinely believe we're not far away from a win. I'm starting to lose faith in that somewhat, but uh, tell you what, lots of eh, lots of rocks out here. Why use it on something like this? Could always find a black market, and I don't want to waste any more uh, charges than is necessary. I guess we should use it on rooms that have more skulls. All right, that key is integral to our plans. Good, sacrificial dagger did what I needed it to do there, and if we stand like right there, we're not going to run into any trouble whatsoever. Using Sacrificial Dagger uh, properly and offensively is kind of a... It's a dangerous thing to be trying, but if you can make it work, uh, it can give you a nice bonus. For now, I would also do well to like stop taking so much damage. Leech is okay. And it's one of those items that synergizes well enough with other items that... Uh, you know, we, we can say, like, oh, if we get Nod Leaf, then I could just sit tight for like 40 minutes and watch the game beat itself. There we go, we actually found a black market. That's kind of unexpected. It might not be a black market, it might just be a free item, but still. Let's head on down. Yeah, it's uh, is that a free relic? Excuse me? That seems pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty awesome. So we'll take that. And that's all thanks to you, Notched Axe. I'll give you full credit there. Alright, curse room. Well, this is what I was thinking, is we can use, uh the moon card to teleport out of our curse room. But actually, weirdly enough, why do I only get half a spirit art for that? Weirdly enough in this situation, um, it doesn't really matter because we can just walk out of our curse room anyway. Got to give me something here. Not not planning on becoming guppy, but you got to give me something. All right, that's good enough actually. Shop might not be viable, but really all we're holding out here for is a uh, deal with the devil. If we get the deal with the devil, all is forgiven. If we can trade away as much HP as possible, get in that permanent whore of Babylon state. That was a full spirit, aren't uh, then, then we can start talking about maybe a win somehow. You know what would be a great item? Is Abaddon. If Abaddon just showed up. But uh, that's kind of like uh, it's kind of like just asking for mom's knife, you know? It's, it's polite to accept it. It's impolite to ask for it. If your host offers you, you know, your eighth beer, you can uh, you can oblige. But if you ask for your eighth beer, that makes you maybe in the wrong. Anyway, war. Uh, you know what? I don't mind having another defensive orbital. It's not really uh, the thing that excites me most about the potentiality on this run. That's okay, though. This is pretty much exactly what I was hoping for, is that we could get war down to this state. Um before he blew up all the rocks in our region. So I'm going on him, Leech is going on him, bum friends hanging out, watching, waiting for some free shit like a t-shirt gun. No deal with the devil, huh? So you just hate me then, game. I think we're just gonna leave, to be honest with you. Not really too much else we're waiting for here. Uh, we'll use our notch tax on the next floor to hopefully deal with some schools. Skulls, not schools, that sounds terrifying. Okay. Finally found a good use for our moon card. I don't think we can crush those guys, by the way. But you know what? We got some bombs. Let's uh, let's throw some bombs down here. We got two cents for two bombs. That's a shit trade. Like, by definition. 
Sounds like a fragrance. Shit trade, by definition. I haven't seen a TV ad for perfume in like, was it like in the mid 2000s? They started getting like, they'd hire Scarlett Johansson. It would basically be like, watch this guy seduce Scarlett Johansson, but actually she's seducing him because our product is about empowerment. Calvin Klein, obsession, number 69, right? It started to be like almost like Boz Lerman movies, and I'm like, you know what? I'm never gonna care about perfume enough to to really get what you want me to get out of this commercial, but it's, it's sure it's a beautiful piece of vapid filmmaking. It's a real bodice ripper. Bodice? I think it's bodice. Ah, am the bodice of them all. If you ain't about money, then I ain't mess with y'all. Well, oh, why am I dumb? That's a great question. I walked right into that thing. I was gonna say there's probably more skulls over here, but they're not, thankfully. Okay, money. Uh, two bombs, all right. You know, we could sell those for money, probably. That's the next, the Isaac expansion, if there is one coming out, they should add like a pawn shop. So that you could sell things, they like consumables that you don't want. I guess that's kind of like key beggars, but. I'll take you to the pawn shop. I'll let you get what you want, but only temporarily. Did I forget the sun card? Oh, I did forget the sun card on the last floor. And there goes our blood bank. Psych. Uh, yeah, you know, pretty psyched that we, uh, I'm gonna miss out on that blood bank, given that, uh, you know, I had the two of hearts, lots of hearts sitting around on the level, and also, uh, that uh, second secret room was just chock full of red hearts, so I'm a little pissed off about it. Yeah, you could probably forgive me for saying that. Should have used this before the room ended, I guess. There's like a rock in that wall. Oh, what? What? All right, let's not mess with this too much. Okay, we haven't been to our item room yet, so I'm not gonna fight the boss. Uh, forgetting that sun card is actually, like I'll be straight with you, it's the kind of mistake that could end up coming back to bite you in the ass in a big way, so I hope you didn't do what I did. Bum friend, can you wait until the end of the room to steal my fucking money? Where's my money, Denny? Where's my fucking money, Denny? I don't have five fucking minutes, Denny, because I'm some kind of crazy person who just is on an extremely tight schedule. Now, we could just uh, pretend this room doesn't exist. That would be great. Like, if you could just finish. You are forgive. Okay, seriously. Just die, please, and thank you. Keys. Keys are good, man. Keys open doors. That's what Pusha T told me, and uh, he is always right. So this is our ideal, and I do mean ideal. Wink, wink. No, it's <laughs> what am I trying to imply that I'm an I'm an illegal narcotic salesman? Come on. But with uh, where's the last guy? Is he up here? Yeah, with number one, not number one, notched axe. We should stand a pretty good chance of getting something good from blowing up all these skulls. And finally, our item room. Are we on Necropolis? Yeah, man, this this run is not taking it easy on us. This is also a great room to use uh, to use it on. There's only like eight skulls in here. That's like less than the average human body has in their brain case. That doesn't make any sense. Okie dokie. Well, that was probably the worst dodge. You know what went through my brain there? We should do that. Oh my god, telepathy for dummies. We should do that because you can use Sacrificial Dagger to do damage. It was a dumb decision. Bombs are key. Don't mind if I do. I know that we're coming po close to the end of the game. Uh, we're and to the end of our key usefulness for the most part, but we just got fucking Ghost Baby? For a bomb? I think that's like a pretty okay trade. If for no other reason, then it means we won't have to see fucking Ghost Baby on a deal with the devil. Two of spades. Oh, snap. Here a font. This is real good. All right, well, we still want to see our shop. Oh, this is our notched axe area over here. Oh, my lanta. Don't mind if I do. Look at all these delicious tarot cards over here. We got more tarot than a sushi restaurant. All right, let's kill these guys and then do some exploration. I would be mad if we didn't get another sun card. Judgment. Pa, yes, this is exactly what I want. Something to spend our red hearts on. Maybe even get back into that whore Babylon state. 
That is uh, bombs of key. We don't really want that right now. That is two of clubs. Oh, should have maybe used bombs of key. And I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yes, poor Babylon State. What a terrible night to have a curse. One more for you, my friend. And thank you for not being full health. Black card we want. A hermit could use a couple of devil cards. Maybe a little overkill. Uh, the stars. The sun. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Pick this up. Uh, I might want to use the hermit. I don't know. I really just want demon judgment to pay out. There we go. Mysterious or experimental treatment. Looks like our damage is kind of through the roof, but I'm not sure if that's changed. Like, our shot speed is terrible. Our tears seem pretty good. We got an extra HP upgrade. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm okay with it. Don't want to pick that up because that'll ruin our... Uh, well, it'll ruin a couple of things. Horror Babylon and our ability to access these boss trap rooms. Really hoping for a deal with the devil after this, uh, after this mom fight. And if we get it... Thanks, by the way, um, to... Ugh. Ugh. Not worth it very much at all. Uh, I'll buy this just to protect myself on the way back. Uh, thanks very much, by the way, to uh, our dickbag leech for giving us some more HP that I didn't even want. Thanks a lot, Dad. God, you're so lame. We should probably donate our money, but I don't want to go back through that bullshit room again. Uh, let's let's just go. You know what? You don't even get it. Let's just go. All right. Land so that Sacrificial Dagger can do some real damage. There must have been a Tinted Rock over there. Lucky me. There we go. Sacrificial Dagger doing its work again. We're not doing crazy damage, mind you. We are out of permanent Babylon state. Horror Babylon. Sorry, trying to keep it PG-13. That's why I'm saying fudge so much. The truth is I just can't stop saying fudge. As much as I would love to. It's become one of those, like, earworms. It's stuck in my head. I can't get it out. Please send help. Ooh, that was not very good. The only thing that can fuck up this run in the short term is me accidentally pressing Q. If I can send a message to my brain cavity and say, hey, don't press Q, and it actually gets through, that's great. So, I, uh, I picked up the Polaroid, which I didn't want to do. But I just bumped into it in like two seconds. What, what am I supposed to do about that? I think it should give you a second where you can't pick up the item. Because I'm pretty sure I just fucked myself. Well, now we've learned another valuable lesson. And that valuable lesson is uh, don't stand near the bottom of the screen when the items appear. But at least we can try to eke out a victory here nonetheless. That's pretty frustrating though. Goodbye, uh, Notched Axe for Krampus's head. And we'll head down to the next floor. I feel like a fucking idiot. That's the second time today that's happened. That one, like this one here, I consider less my fault as a result of the fact that um, I didn't even want the Polaroid. It just kind of gave it to me. Cool. Well, it's not so bad. We're still having a fun run here. Anytime you can succeed as Eve. I mean, keep in mind, this is what Rebirth episodes are going to freaking look like, you know? Like, uh, once we get everything unlocked and maybe, you know, do the challenges and stuff like that, this is what every Rebirth episode is going to be like, man. It's going to be like... Let's just see if we can beat, we'll start up and see if we can beat the game. Like, if this seems nihilistic to you, this is, you know, this this is the average run right here. This is a day in the fucking life. So don't sweat it too much yet. It's going to be a fun time. I know there's a red heart there. I'm not overly concerned. The secret room, where? Here? Oh, that's the same one. Okay. I got a little confused. That's okay. It happens to the best of us. And me. Really, really hoping for some horror Babylon uh, nonsense, though. Or at least some kind of better damage upgrade. Like, the only damage upgrade we've gotten on the whole run is experimental treatment, which admittedly I think has worked out pretty nicely for us. But then, like, magic scab. I'm almost actively taking damage so that my black hearts will do more damage. Who gives a shit about magic scab? Nobody is the answer to that question. Don't even tempt me with this bullshit. Yeah, leech. That's pretty good. Okay, Krampus' head. Ah, not worth it on this room. We'll save it just in case a boss room's imminent. Wow. It's alright, I'll wait. 
Oh, wait, any minute now. Seriously? Oh, there we go! Hey, look who decided to not just make the game freeze forever. Not sweating that at all. That was a good use. I could have easily taken damage there. Even though we, did, we won't have Krampus' head for the boss fight, still very much worth it, I think. We could just go fight one more room if we really thought it was that important. I think we're going to be strong enough. And I really am really banking on a deal with the devil here. Don't... Oh, there's a... Um, there's a spirit heart back there. It's not like we lost it. Should have picked it up, though. So, Mama Gertie is pretty much a no-brainer, I think, if you... Uh, if you can fly. I think there's borderline, like, zero risk. There's that. We could have been hit by any one of those. But if you ignore those, there's borderline zero risk. Actually, if you ignore them, there's a lot of risk. You should definitely, like, try to take better care than I am. Anyway, deal with the devil. It's deserved. Come on. You know you owe me. Speed upgrade's fine as long as we get something amazing here. Oh, nine lives or something. I'll take anything to give me, uh... Is that a second sun? No. Wow, that's really bad. I was gonna say, I'll take anything to give me, like, some damage upgrades. Oh, well. Down to the next floor, and, you know, it's not a foregone conclusion that we're going to win this run by any stretch of the imagination, you know? It's uh, still very much up in the air, even if the win is meaningless. So, we could be real cheeky and try to go down into Horror Babylon State by playing the Blood Bank. I think that is probably super dumb. If we can do it by getting nine lives, in a way, it's a little bit more uh, acceptable. Just wanted to see if there's a demon judgment in there. Uh, it's a little bit more acceptable because uh, we can still have some capacity left for like spirit hearts and stuff like that. I should be giving these to bum friend. But I did figure at least. Um, we'll get down to permanent Polaroid invincibility. We got a payout there. I'm fine with that. And I don't think we're going we're gonna to die on any individual room here. So why don't we just like enjoy our Horror of Babylon state until we get to the boss at least. Secret room is nearby. Yeah, like, we're doing some real hurting power in this situation. It's just everything else that's annoying. Let's check for some uh, mushroom items, maybe. Yeah, uh, mini mush is okay. Seems like that's the most common one. Bad trip is full health. Full health is full health. Bad trip. Tears down. Wow. Not so good. Well, we're at full health again. <laughs> No matter how hard I try, the game will not let me stay in uh, the Horror of Babylon state. Which is good, you know. We'll survive, I guess. Keep in mind that even if I go down to Shoal, there is just, uh, there's no way out for us, basically. We're still gonna have to... Well, we, can, we have a choice. We can either fight in Shoal and end the run, or we can go to the Cathedral and go to the chest. Again, my apologies that this ended up working out this way, but seriously, just kind of wrong place, wrong time. I don't really love the idea of using uh, using Krampus' head to fight a first floor boss at this point. Like, we're so much stronger. I'd rather save it for like a large room or... I mean, even a room like this would have been better, but even still, it's too good to use on these guys. I'm still having fun with this run though. Again, any run where, as Eve, you... you come close to succeeding. That's an accomplishment in and of itself. I don't think Eve is particularly oh, that strong as far as characters go. Plus, we're keeping our winning streak alive. In a, you know, kind of maybe not the ideal form of it, but that's okay. So with these guys, I think the trick is you want to get in there with Sacrificial Dagger before they can try anything funny. Uh, yeah, let's sneak around, and that was like super not worth it, but that's okay. I mean, we have a lot of keys, so it's not that big of a deal. Any room with those assholes gets a little bit of a premium when it comes to, uh... Oh, same with these assholes. Gets a premium when it comes to Krampus' head. Because, seriously, these lumps, fuck them. Second secret room usually tends to be fairly close by to the boss. Don't quote me on that one. That's missing page one. What did I tell you, though? What did I tell you, though? Uh, we're gonna be able to have Krampus' head ready for the mom fight, which is great. So now, what are we hoping for? Uh, you know, a nice cathedral. Sounds like I'm planning my wedding here. A nice cathedral, and it over as soon as possible. Um, that sounds terrible. My wife and I feel the same way about it, though. Um, yeah, we'll uh, beat Mom's heart, have a good time on the cathedral. 
and then uh, get carried on the chest. Ideally. Okay, this is our time to shine. Leech, do what you do. I'll do what I do. Actually, still don't know if Sacrificial Dagger blocks bullets, even though I thought I came to a conclusion about that. I'm not 100% sure if that conclusion was actually valid, now that I think about it. Whoop. It seems to block them. The fact that it blocks them, yeah, it totally does, is actually amazing. Because it's such a, like, wide orbital. Wide orbital spaces. Sing it, Dixie Chicks fans. Room to make a big mistake, am I right? Well, we don't want anything to do with that. Trying to get in there and sneak in, you know, the oh, sneak in the occasional. There we go, the occasional kind of sacrificial dagger. I didn't even see anything on the ground there. Good tarot cards. Here, fun. Take you to the hero, fun. Hey, I'll give you a little bit of existential hope. Hey, what do you got for me? Lovers. That's like the exact inverse of what I wanted. But we'll put those hearts down on the ground just in case we need them. I tried to use uh, Krampus's head here and immediately was filled with regret. So I'm very glad that we didn't actually have a full charge because that room was not worth Krampus's head. This one, on the other hand, is. Could have done better with it. Sacrificial dagger is no joke, man. That was bad damage. Uh, if we can get in there with it, it does good stuff. That was. Oh, it worked. Were you trying to like anticipate where I'd be or something like that? Big mistake. Should really just be giving that money to bum friend. I don't know what's going through my head when I pick it up. Even as I was saying it, I was like, well, it's too late to tell my hands not to do it. Oh, Anarchist Cookbook. Just the item I needed to carry me out of this, like, funk that we found ourselves in. Okay, that pretty much homed in right into me. Not sure what I can do about that in the long term to prevent that from happening in the future. Starting to hemorrhage a little HP here. The good news is, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. Let's charm these motherfuckers. If they bump into one another, they'll freaking kill each other. Um, but, uh, good news is, and I'm not to my own horn, I've tended recently to be pretty good at the Isaac fight. And that's an important moment for us right here. Oh, you got something? Yeah, he does. That was way worth it. Okay, let's see if we can earn ourselves some spirit hearts, you know? I don't know where I'm going to put these. Doesn't work. Yeah, you know what? Disregard. Where's our secret room? Right there. Okie dokie. Could play it. You know, there's value in that. Not gonna, because I'm lazy. And any run that is won through the merits of gambling is not a run I care to win. That makes me sound like some kind of, you know, not to bring religion into it, but like it makes me sound more religious than I am. Let's put it that way. If we get really in a rough spot, I will probably take advantage of that uh, house of ill repute there and gamble a little bit on the fortune teller, but uh, I'm not gonna. Ooh, that was a dumb place to stand, but it worked. Good. Yeah, one's dead. I heard that. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. Everyone knows that. Okay. I knew our boss fight would have to be here soon. And we are going to have Krampus' head charged up perfectly for it if I don't use it against Cramp or uh, Famine. And there's really no need to use it against Famine. Our HP is going to be pretty good. We got enough keys to do what we need to do on the chest. I think we're, uh, we're in a decent spot here. And I, you know, I'll just be straight with you. This hasn't been my favorite. Isaac run of all time. Our damage is a little lower than I would like, and uh, we haven't really had any kind of cool tier effects or synergies or anything like that. That being said, I'm still having a fun time, and uh, the chest is where the zaniest shit in the game happens due to the you know ability to pick up four items and then pick and choose what you want. Please just die. Thank you. All right, now that it is dead, uh, we have the opportunity to probably do a little bit faster damage to Isaac than we've been doing in the past. Dead bird could uh, maybe be a little bit more aggressive in its targeting. That would be beautiful for me as well. It's all right, though. Just 
Stay frosty here. I, to be honest with you, I don't really know what stay frosty even means. It's got something to do with Wendy's, though. It's like some kind of targeted advertising. That's the way I've understood it. May or may, may or may not be mistaken there. That's the granola bar I ate earlier. Just a little, like, a piece of almond getting stuck in my throat. <clears throat> you know, talk a lot on a daily basis, wear down the vocal cords, and then, uh, start getting granola throat. It happens. It's a real thing. It's like trench foot. Or the Boston bean dip. So we're on red hearts now. That scares me. But the chest can carry us. Plus we have the relic. It's helpful. Just realize that we got an Isaac kill, and I don't really care about it. <coughs> Pardon me. Just so happen to have a convenient glass of water nearby. I think this will probably end up being my last video for today. Okay, Spider Baby. My reflection. Anemia, unfortunately. And Halo of Flies. This is alright. These are all acceptable items, but they're not items I'm... Uh, Oh, that's Bloody Lust, actually! Okay, that's actually really, really good. I thought that was Anemia. Is really the only difference between them that, um... Anemia is much bigger? If so, that's very silly, in my opinion. But now, uh, the more damage we take, the more damage we're gonna do over the course of this entire floor. And this is the only floor that matters. So as much as it might seem great to bring, like, a full health pill into the boss fight in the form of the Sun card... What might actually be the most productive thing? Eh, no, that, that's still the most productive thing. But I was thinking, like, if we find a Temperance card or some bullshit like that, then we, uh, you know, play it and then use the Sun card and then maybe play it a little bit more. That's very silly of me. Because if we're going to get the damage bonus anyway, we might as well... Um, no. If we're going to get the damage bonus anyway, we might as well, you know, do damage to the boss while we're getting the damage bonus rather than trying to get, like, some kind of bullshit you know, temperance card play. I don't even know what would happen there. Okay, uh, I'm loving Halo of Flies, gotta admit. Great item. Spider Babby does what it do. I appreciate you. I respect you. You smart. You loyal. That's bad damage, but every piece of bad damage we take makes us do more damage. What have I been asking for all run? The ability, nay, the impetus, nay, being forced. Calvin Klein, obsession. Uh, no, to, uh, actually do damage at the risk of losing our HP. Fine by me. Be careful what you wish for, motherfucker. It might come true. Read or beware. You're in for a scare. This is a long room. It shouldn't be taking us that long. So our damage doesn't go away after we get hit. We got regen. Yes, we do. We got regen. How about you? Fudge this room forever. Daddy Long Legs, not too much of a threat, but hey, oh no, we took some more damage. Or should I say, oh no, we've been given some more damage. You ever think about that? Okay, probably should not just walk into those, though. It really would be for the best if we could use the Sun card on our boss fight. Wow, that bomb hit nothing? I thought it was actually going to hit both of them. Husk is no big deal. There's a lot of bullshit right now, but still not so bad. Thank you. That relic is a pretty big deal to me. Oh, Curse of the Maze. Okay, big room. This is like all of the horsemen at once, I'm assuming. I see some war. I see some death spikes. Yeah. Well, you know, what can you do? Kill one at a time. Where's my famines at? That's death. Maybe there's no famine? I haven't seen famine. Oh, there he is. This would probably be a much better room to have, uh... To have uh, Krampus. Oh well. You dead. Horse is dead as well. Alright, war, you're next. Famine can wait. You are straight up dead. Wasn't even close. Oh, they're all dead. Alright, even better. Not our boss room, in case you didn't notice. I'm extremely happy to have done a little bit of damage right off the bat. I was, uh... This room is actually one that concerns me a great deal. I end up taking damage on this room a lot, but our, our tiers are doing some real damage now. Compare this to how we were doing against the gate even just a few rooms ago. I think those enemies have roughly, like, the similar amounts of HP. And you know what? I don't want to toot my own horn, but we've been doing pretty well against uh, Blue Baby as well. Not as well as against Isaac. Oh, that was just dumb. That was dumb of me. So if I get hit once more, I have to use the Sun card. There's just no way around it. I gotta keep moving, because, yeah, as long as the, one of them is down, I can't stop moving. 
so you can pop up right underneath me. I was gonna say, I'm doing circles like right in the center of the map. How long do you think you can stay away? Need HP though, dog. Uh, well. Thank you. Now we can absorb like a little bit of risk here. This room. Oh, it's the boss room. Okay, so we're gonna get Krampus' head back right after this. This is gonna be perfect. The only question is do we have the ability to have enough HP? Like a relic payout on this room would be so useful. And maybe even red hearts from these guys. Wow, that's like exactly what happened. How did you know? And pills. We don't know. We don't know. Bombs are key. Might as well. 48 hour energy. Oh, four, oh. Health up. Okay, uh, that's pretty good, I guess. 48 hour energy is not. Lock up. Sure, why not? What's better, sun or 48 hour energy? It's gotta be sun. If I could take them both in, I would love to, but obviously we can't do that unless we get some kind of mystical starter deck plus, uh, you know, baggy of pills combination, which does not exist. Remember, every time we take damage, we're gonna be doing more damage. Try to avoid using the sun card until permanent Polaroid invincibility becomes active. Did you see that dank, uh, dank sacrificial dagger action there? Pretty sneaky, sis. Alright, this is a win. It's not the it's not the win we needed, because I'm an idiot, but well, because the game effed us a little bit, but hey, it's a win nonetheless. Fuck your spirit heart. I don't need it. Anyway, that's gonna do it uh, for this run. I wish that I'd remember to pick up the negative, but there you go. It's all good. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you next time. Goodbye.